All right, so uh, we're going to review part one again, and then I'm going to show you another hidden bunkai for the downward block application. We're going to go over really quick, and if you need some more time to look at it closely, go to the first video we already made. So again, different applications of, um, this is the bunkai application for Taiko one or similar. So in the actual kata, we're doing a downward block, and then we're still before we're punching. So let's see what the application may look like. Now a lot of people think it's going to be a kick, so you come to kicks, and I'm going to block here on the inside again. Think about a bat, the end of the bat's very powerful, so I'm going to step in closely and block here, and then I can push and pull, step forward, and punch, push and pull there. And again, we talked off, we talked real quickly about in a real situation, I might, if you kick, I might actually step to the side and then punch. Or we also talked about if you kick, I'll probably just do the back out way, best defense not to be there, turtle away, and get away. Then we also kind of referenced um, that you could you could technically use it as a punch if it's a low punch if it comes to warm. I might step forward here and punch here. I might hook and whatever, step forward, punch. You could still do that in some cases. I don't know if I would actually do it. A lot of times I like in a real situation to be right here. And again, uh, we're going to go over quickly the disengagement we talked about last time. It's here. I will step up. We got the down block for disengagement. Now to get more effectiveness, again, by spreading my fingers, I open up uh, my hands, but I, what I do is I make my wrist bigger. So this motion doesn't make it too much different, but when I spread, I'm going to go through that opening here between the thumbs. So again, it's here. I come up, and I'm doing a push and pull here. I'm spreading my hand here, going through the opening. Push and pull, and strike, just like we did before. Now today we're going to do the hidden part. Those are kind of obvious because they're all down a block. All right, so we're going to show the hidden part of the downward block in the tight if you want. So I come over across, spread my fingers, release, push, pull, punch. Now in a real situation here in the second part of you know we're going to go back that way. So a lot of people think my fighter's that way. It's not. Your fighter's in front of you, so I'm going to bring him toward me. So I'm going to do a push, pull here and wrench him. His natural instinct is going to be to fight against you. So he wants to go this way, so I'm going to let him. When he comes here, I'm going to come down. Notice how that looks like the down block when I threw him. I did a push and pull. This was pulling down. This hand's pushing. And then I step forward just like a taiko one with a punch. Thanks. So again, another, another thing we can do, we can obviously do our hip throws, shoulder throws, and all those things from that same position. But what I wanted this, everyone to see is when I come across in that opposite direction, I'm actually kind of throwing them down and then falling just like we do in taiko one. Or any kata that's similar to that. All right, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Listen.